back and there's dances being made even today. Well, that's nice to hear it living like that. Now, yes, it's a living I'm, tradition. I'm, I'm used to Morris men. Oh, well, a lot of people seem to think it's just men that's an eye to Morris dance, but women have been dancing Morris for well over a hundred years, and I, the men seem to think they've got an authority on it, but us women know better. And so women are coming to the fall all over, or is this just a Portland idea? No, no, there's lots of women's sides all over the country. There's about a hundred women's sides. Compared with how many men? I don't know. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> None of the dances we do at the moment stem from Portland, but we know there are dances that used to be done on the island, and we are looking into them, and hopefully we'll be able to dance them next season. We have got women musicians, but you find most of the women like to dance, and then we let the men get on with the music. Some of us are Portlanders, some of us are Kimberlings that were not born on the island, but live on the island, and some of us are foreigners. If it comes out with us, it's definitely female. We all love doing it. It's um, something you've got to practice, and we practice all winter. We have every Wednesday evening as a practice session, and you've got to come to the practices to know the stepping. But when we go out in the summer, we go out to enjoy ourselves, to be sociable, and to have a good time, as long as we're keeping up the standard that we've been practicing all through the winter. We fit for nothing afterwards. <laughs> Much of the island